you have a sleep problem, did you know your gut microbiome could be causing it? Hello, my name is Dr. Iggy Suse. Welcome to my channel, Gut Health for Life, where I'll be discussing issues related to gut health and the microbiome based on research studies and my clinical experience. In this video, I'm going to explain how the gut microbiome influences sleep and how it can be improved. Sleep, as we all know, is crucial for good health. Long-term lack of adequate sleep has been linked to many diseases, including diabetes, high blood pressure, coronary heart disease, as well as obesity. In adolescence, short sleep duration and diminished sleep quality are associated with poor decision-making, risk-taking behavior, mood disruptions, and decreased academic performance. Up to 30% of adults and up to 48% of older adults suffer from chronic insomnia. In infants, short sleep and frequent night awakings increased future risk for obesity and asthma. We all have inbuilt processes that cycle in a 24-hour period in sync with the circadian rhythm of the earth. What do I mean by circadian rhythm? Circadian rhythms are the physical, mental, and behavioral changes that follow a 24-hour cycle. Everything is cyclic, changing with the light and the dark cycles. Our energy, our changes, our mood changes, and our behavior changes. These natural processes respond mainly to light and dark, and affect most living things, including animals, plants, and even bacteria. In humans and animals, the circadian rhythm is controlled by a master clock located in a part of the brain called the hypothalamus. The master clock follows a 24-hour light and dark cycle. The eyes register the amount of light detected and send these messages to the master clock, which coordinates the release of neurotransmitters like serotonin and noadrenaline, which are the daytime hormones to keep you awake and alert. With nighttime, the message to the, to the master clock results in the release of melatonin, the hormone related to sleep. We also have organ clocks, like liver clock, heart clock, kidney clock, and even a gut clock. The master clock controls the organ clocks, and the organ clocks can work independently as well to maintain rhythms such as body temperature. These, there are also clocks in the cells of our bodies. We're not finished with clocks here, as our gut microbiome also has clocks and responds to the day and night cycle by changing their numbers and are affected by the times of food consumption, the types of foods eaten, and they function differently at different times of the day. So you can see that it's a very complex process. The gut microbiome also plays a big role in how the human clocks function. A healthy microbiome works to improve the function of the human clocks, but the unhealthy microbiome that is in dysbiosis disrupts the clocks. Let's see how that happens. I mentioned that the master clock coordinates the release of the neurotransmitters. Multiple hormones are coordinated by the master clock, but I will focus on serotonin as an example. Serotonin is important in mood regulation, among other functions. Low serotonin could result in depression. You may know that most commonly used antidepressant drugs work on serotonin. There are a number of important points here. Most of the serotonin in the body is produced by specialized cells in the gut lining. The friendly gut bacteria have a role in that they stimulate those cells to produce serotonin. If there's dysbiosis, there may be insufficient friendly bacteria to stimulate the production of serotonin. Melatonin, which is a sleep hormone, is produced from serotonin. So in this biosis, that could result not only in low serotonin, but low melatonin. The net result is depression from low serotonin and sleep problems from low melatonin. Now there's a feedback loop. Low melatonin can result in increased inflammation and gut injury lining injury, that is leaky gut. Sleep loss also increases dysbiosis and inflammation. So dysbiosis can result in low melatonin, and low melatonin can trigger a leaky gut that in itself causes more problems as discussed in my video on leaky gut. 
Now going deeper. In my previous videos, I've talked about the value of eating a wide variety of vegetables, the fibers of which feed the microbiome that produce the all-important short-chain fatty acids. I've talked about the many benefits of short-chain fatty acids in my fiber video. Here is another very important function linked to sleep. Short-chain fatty acids are thought to influence the body clocks. A lack of bacteria that produces these short-chain fatty acids can result in marked impairment of the master clock as well as the liver clock. The short-chain fatty acids have been shown to have sleep-inducing effects and produced by the gut micro, micro, microbiome from fiber. The opposite also occurs. In dysbiosis, the products of the unfriendly bacteria can uncouple or break the master clock connection with the organ clocks and cause sleep problems. What about the groups of people who deliberately keep awake and then upset their microbiome? These are the shift workers and the regular international travelers and also the gaming enthusiasts who play the video games late into the night. One day of crossing multiple time zones can upset the microbiome and take two weeks to recover. In regular shift workers, the microbiome can shift the dysbiotic state into long term and these people are more prone to developing type 2 diabetes. With shift workers, it is not only the microbiome that is upset, the body clocks are upset as well. For hundreds of thousands of years, our bodies have been synced to the day-night cycle. Our gut clocks have been entrained to respond to food coming in during the day. Enzymes for digestion are set to work optimally during the day or evenings. At night, when we should be sleeping, the gut clock shuts down the digestive system. Now, eating a meal in the middle of the night as a shift worker or an international traveler raises blood sugar as the hormone related to shifting sugar out of the bloodstream is low. This leaves a high blood sugar, which is, which is the start of type 2 diabetes. The problem is further compounded as studies have shown that sleep disruption results in increased food intake causing weight gain and insulin resistance. So what can be done to improve sleep? I've kept this video limited to talking about sleep in the microbiome. There are many different causes for lack of sleep or sleep disturbances. I'll mention a few here. The biggest, of course, is stress. Other causes are being overweight that can cause sleep apnea. Some medication can upset sleep, and alcohol can also do the same. Most of these causes, those, most of those causes mentioned, also affect the microbiome. A stool test is to identify the microbiome balance can be helpful. But in mild cases of sleep disturbance, improving the diet can make a difference. One can improve the microbiome with diet, with 30 different vegetables, probiotics, prebiotics, fermented foods, including fermented milks like kefir. Polyphenols also have been shown to improve the variety and abundance of, of friendly bacteria. Polyphenol food, rich foods include fruit, and vegetables, cocoa, spices, whole grains, nuts, and extra virgin olive oil as the beverages, and also beverages such as coffee and green tea. Approximately 90 to 95 percent of polyphenols are not absorbed and thus can be degraded by intestinal microbes producing the all-important metabolites like short-chain fatty acids. I explained polyphenol, polyphenols in my video on organic versus non-organic foods. Exercise also improves the gut microbiome, as I've covered in, in another video. Basically, one needs three hours of, of exercise a week. The intensity will depend on age and health. As always, you must consult with the health professional before starting any exercise or dietary program. So in summary, we have a master clock and minor clocks in the organs and smaller clocks in our cells. There are also clocks in the bacteria in our gut. The friendly bacteria, if fed right, work to improve our sleep. Unfriendly bacteria disrupt the clock disconnections and disrupt sleep. Our gut microbiome is crucial to our overall health. Today, we have seen another reason to look after the health of our microbiome. I hope you found this video helpful, and if so, 
please subscribe below and click the like button. Thank you for watching.